This is a demonstration on how to create a surface from contours. First, I'm going to import the contours by geometry, import, import geometry. I'm going to select the file that contains the contour lines. In this file, the green lines are my contours. There's an orange line that represents a boundary that I don't need. So I can select all geometry and then I'm just going to deselect this initial linear path just so I can bring the contour lines in. Post-processing, done. And here are the contour lines that have been imported. Alternatively, I'll show you if I had left all the, the lines in, I can just exclude it from the contouring over here. So I'm going to re-import the geometry, this time using file, import, import geometry. Select the contour lines. Select all geometry, including this boundary line. And you can see in this file, this init initial line that I want to exclude from the actual contouring is this first entity. What I'm going to do is select all geometry. And then I'm just going to deselect the top one by control left mouse click. And you can see that top entity has now been unselected. Now I'm going to select geometry, surface triangulation tools, add surface from existing contours. I'm going to add an edge. And the larger parameters that I enter in these two options here will smooth the surface. So I'm going to add a larger boundary segment. Then I'm going to leave the filter close points as default. So I retain the resolution. And this is the surface that's been created. Again, we would recommend repairing or re-triangulating to ensure there's no defects in the surface. Once repaired, we can apply the surface as a slope in Rockfall or we could turn into a volume to use in slide three and RS3 as the external geometry. We can now view our newly created surface in section view. And then create an external box to turn this surface into an external.